What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living gate guardian boo-boo stain. Off of that subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher the 1100 ladder. Finally, the maze of memories reveals are here. I have not yet read these cards. And uh, let's just dive on into it and see what these cards do. Remember, this is the new Gate Guardian support stuff. So we have Labyrinth Heavy Tank. Oh, this is this is nostalgia right here. So this is a level 7 Dark Machine Effect Monster, 2400 attack and defense. You can normal summon this card without tributing, okay? Cannot attack the turn it is normal summon. During your main phase, you can place one of your Sangha of the Thunder, Kazijin, or Suijin that is banished or in your hand or deck face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell then if you control a labyrinth wall card you can destroy one monster your opponent controls you can only use this effect of heavy tank once per turn this is freaking sweet ladies and gentlemen so you just summon it without tributing it's a beat it's a big ass beat stick you take any of the three pieces of gate guardian from the hand or deck put in the spell and trap zone and then you just have to control a labyrinth wall card to pop a monster this seems really interesting kind of gives me like uh sapphire pegasus vibes this this is really cool and remember labyrinth tank was originally a fusion monster so now they made it to an effect monster with a dope ass effect let's see this is shadow ghoul of the labyrinth level 5 dark zombie effect monster 1600 attack 1300 defense you can discard this card add one labyrinth wall card from your deck to your hand at the start of the damage step if your opponent's monster battles while you control a labyrinth wall card you can banish this card from your graveyard destroy that opponent's monster you can always each effect a shadow ghoul of the labyrinth once per turn so if you remember like the og like um Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, where they win against uh, the, the Paradox Brothers. Um, Shadow Ghoul was the monster that could be special summoned by tributing a Labyrinth Wall, and it was like a 3,000 beat stick. So now it can basically do what it did in the anime, uh, but kind of worded different. So you search for the Labyrinth Wall card, that's interesting, and then if you control Labyrinth Wall card, you can banish it from your grave to destroy that monster. That's, that's interesting. Gate Guardian Combined wow that's someone can't take a picture worth a damn but that's that is so cool 3750 attack 3400 defense level 12 dark warrior fusion effect monster requires sango the thunder kazichin and suijin must be special from your extract by banishing the above cards from your hand field and or grave dope so this is a fucking abc dragon buster when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card or cards you control quick effect and eh, you can negate that effect and if you do destroy that card you can only use this effective gate guardian combined once per turn. Why did it have to say target? If this face up special summon card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can special summon one level 11 or lower gate guardian monster from your deck or extra deck ignoring summoning conditions. Okay, where that that makes us hard. Okay, that's that's cool. I don't really like the targeting, but it does stop uh Cash Tira Fenrir. Um so that's that's a thing. Um and it replaces itself. So, okay, you know what? It's got an ABC Dragon Buster type of fusion summoning. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain that much. Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. Yo, we're out here doing XYZ Dragon Cannon shenanigans. Why can someone not take a picture? This is like, what? why is it? Ah, bruh, you got to take these photos better, man. Level 9 Light Thunder Fusion Effect Monster. 2500 attack, two, 2200 defense. This one requires Sang of the Thunder and Kazijin. So they're doing like what they do with XYZ Dragon Cannon, where you had like YZ Tank Cannon, Z or XZ Metal Tank, things like that. Must be stressed on from your ship by banishing the above cards you control. So specifically the above cards you control. This can't be from your hand or grave. During your main phase, you can add one spell or trap from your deck to your hand that mentions Sanga of the Thunder, Kazijin, and Suijin. You can only use this effect of Thunder and win once per turn. Okay, that's really specific. If this face up special summon card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can special summon one year banished Sanga of the Thunder or Kazijin. So it can add a spell or trap from deck to hand that specifically mentions Sanga of the Thunder, Kazijin, and Suijin. It has to mention all three. I guess? Okay. Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. Bro, like this is this is too much. This is cool. This is so nostalgic. Oh my god. I don't care if these cards are bad. This is awesome. Level 9 Wind Spellcaster Fusion Effect Monster. Oh my god, we have more fusions. 2450 attack, 2300 defense requires Kaizen and Suijin. Must be special from your strike by banishing the above cards you control. Once per chain. 
So it's like a rise heart. It's only once per chain. When your opponent activates a spell trap or effect on the field, quick effect, you can negate that effect. You can only use this effect once per turn. Twice per turn if this phase... Wait, whoa. Twice per turn. Wait, hold on. You can only use this effect twice per turn. This thing's an Omni Negate twice. <laughs> what? If this face-up special summon card in its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can special summon one of your banished Kazijin or Suijin. This is the best fusion by far. This thing is an Omni Negate times two. Times two, ladies and gentlemen. Even Baron de Fleur can't do that. Yo, so, and once per chain when they activate a spell, trap, or effect. So, specifically for spells and traps. Okay, but that's still really good. You can negate that effect. You can only use this effect twice per turn. Wow. That's, that is disgusting. Okay. Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. We're just doing all the combinations here. 2550 attack, 2300 defense, level 9 water aqua fusion effect monster. Uh, Sui Jin plus Sang of the Thunder. Must be special from your extra deck by banishing the above cards you control. Once per chain, quick effect, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, changes attack to zero until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect twice per turn. If this face up special summon card in its owner's control leaves the field because opponent's card, you can special one of your banished Sui Jin or Sang of the Thunder. Um, this is pretty good. I mean, changing it to zero and swinging it for 2550 is not a terrible thing. Um, so yeah. Labyrinth Wall of Shadow. Oh my god, they have a field spell. Yo, they've got a field spell. Oh, yo, the Shadow Ghoul going through the Labyrinth Wall. Bro, people are going to start playing Labyrinth Wall, the 3,000 defense booty vanilla monster. Field spell. Monsters cannot attack the turn they are summoned, except monsters whose original level is 5 or higher. So it gives monsters summoning sickness. Okay. Once per turn during your main phase, you can place one of your Sangha the Thunder, Kazijin, or Suijin that is banished or in your hand or deck. Face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. Okay, so we're going the Crystal Beast route with, like, the continuous spell thing. At the start of your opponent's battle phase, you can target one monster your opponent controls with less than 1,600 attack and destroy it. Huh. Okay, so anything that's five or higher can't attack the turn it's summoned. That's interesting. So it just shuts off Kash Tira. Um, I, but I guess that they could just make it exceed. Um, and then being able to place one of the three gate guardian pieces that's banished or in your hand or deck face up the spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. So like you can place them out and then contact fuse with them. That seems kind of cool. I don't, I feel like uh, the, the, why level five or higher? I don't know. It just, it seems kind of odd. Double attack, wind and thunder. Yo, this is, that's sick, bro. He, <laughs> he's shooting it out of his balls, bro. Let's go. The Ultra Ball's got some competition. Uh, it's a quick play spell. If you control a Gate Guardian monster, target one card on the field, destroy it. Okay. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one of your Sangha, the Thunder, Kazijin, or Suijin that is banished or in your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Huh. And is it on the same turn? Yes, yeah, so you can do this the same turn that it's sent to the grave. Huh. Okay, that's, that's interesting, I guess. Ryoku Guardian, normal spell. If your life points are lower than your opponent's, target one monster you control with Gate Guardian in its original name. Have your opponent's life points. Then that monster gains attack equal to your opponent's life points. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one of your Sangha, the Thunder, Kazijin, or Suijin that is banished or in your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect once a turn. So your opponent's at 8,000? <laughs> Bro, you go into time, you play this spell card, you win. <laughs> what? Bruh, this is disgusting. Like, as long as you can make a Gate Guardian monster... Which all of the fusions have the name Gate Guardian. So you make the one that's a double Omni Negate. You activate this and you just win the ball game. Bro, what? <laughs> that's so random, but okay. Last but not least, we have Prey. Ooh, okay, they're working Jirai Gumo into this. Prey of the Jirai Gumo. Yo, that thing's a rare. Okay. Continuous Trap. Special summon this card is a normal monster. Insect, Earth, level 5. 2100 attack, 100 defense. Pretty sure that's Jirai Gumo stats, except it's level 5. Or, J the Jirai Gumo is level 4, not level 5. In your main monster zone, in its same column. This card is also still a trap. Then you can destroy one monster your opponent controls in this card's column. Ugh. That seems kind of bad. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one of your Sangha, the Thunder, Kazajin, or Suijin that is banished or in your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. So minus the trap, like everything seems kind of decent. The, the trap's kind of garbage, honestly. This Ryoku Guardian seems disgusting. This double attack wind and thunder, I feel like has potential. The field spell, uh, I feel like that they got confused. Like Konami was like, let's just slap some random stuff on it. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know about all that. The fusions are really interesting. They're really fucking cool, to, to be honest. They all have Gate Guardian in the name. So as long as you can make one, you can play that a life point cut in half thing and you just win in time. The Shadow, excuse me, the Shadow Ghoul is really cool. The Labyrinth Tank is basically a Stratos. 
Um, that's actually really cool. So guys, let me know what you think about this gate guardian support. I'm squealing like a schoolgirl. I don't care if these cards are bad. Like this, this is cool. This, th this is the kind of stuff I want to see in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't want to see like dark world structure decks that like people hate on me for saying that they're good when they're not actually all that great. Like they're decent, but just not all that great. Like th this is definitely a deck that you could play at locals and like have fun with. Like this is something that you could really get away with at locals. So guys, let me know what you think about these cards. I'm super excited for March now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.